Happy beautiful day, it's Pete Cohen here with a book review of The Alchemist. Have you read this book? It's amazing and it has touched the hearts and minds of so many people. Over the next few minutes I'm going to take you on a bit of an epic quest which is what this book is all about. This is a book that sold millions of copies all over the world, translated into loads of languages and Mr. Paolo Coelho has really written a book that has really touched the hearts and the minds of people. And that's actually quite difficult to do in a book because personal development books often make you think. Whereas what this book does, it takes you on a story so you start to use your imagination. So what is an alchemist? Well, an alchemist is someone really who can perform magic, which is kind of interesting because uh, I have a magic wand in my hand and I do believe in magic. I believe in the magic of transformation. I believe that human beings have an incredible capacity to be amazing, but it often revolves around us changing our ways, finding a purpose, finding something to go after and making it happen. And that's not always an easy journey to go on. And that is why this book is so awesome because it really makes people think about their own life and their own journey. So it's actually quite hard to tell you, you will get this, this and this from this book because that's not the style in what it has been written. It has been written to make you stop and pause and think about the journey of your life, the adventure of your life. So let's get started. Let me explain to you that this book really is about someone's transformation. Our lead character, Santiago from Spain, has this reoccurring dream that there is some treasure buried underneath one of the pyramids uh, in Egypt. And he keeps having this dream and it just eventually gets him to the point where he's actually got to do something about it. And we all have dreams. We all have goals, dreams and ambitions. I think some of us are frightened to bring our goals to life and of course when it comes to doing something different to what you're currently doing, we often feel this resistance. And I think this book is really calling out to people to say, hey, what is it in your life that you feel that you must do? In fact, Santiago knows that he has this purpose. So he goes on this adventure and along on, that, on this epic adventure that he goes on, he starts to realize what his true identity is. And this is really interesting because this word, identity basically means it's your personality and most people identify with who they think they are and I don't think that we are who we think we are I think we can be so much more than who we currently are being and this is where we start to transform and we break out of the mold that we have created for ourselves and this is what we see Santiago as he goes on this epic adventure starts to do and he meets many teachers along the way who help him and support him look at life differently. Look, we know that people don't change when we tell them what to do. People change when their perspective changes and this is what happens to this character and I know that if there's something that you decide to read that more than likely you will start to look at your life and look at the journey that you're on. Now as far as the journey that we are all on, if I could wave my magic wand for you, I'm sure you would want to have improvements in what I call the three big areas of life. The first one being your health and your energy, your relationships and your wealth and your work. Most of us want transformation, but I think often when we're afraid to do what it takes as we tend to identify with who we think we are, once we start to change, it feels uncomfortable and most of us won't go and pursue that gold. Most of us won't gold, go. Most of us won't go on that epic adventure because we all dream and most of us obviously dream at night but what you see with Santiago is he not only has this dream at night, he has it in the day and it becomes something he must pursue. But ultimately, there is a price. There is a price for anything that we want to achieve and in most cases it's effort. It is leaving behind the old world, the old way of working, the old way of thinking and boy are we living in a time right now where this book will probably touch people in a way that maybe they haven't been touched before because right now with the way that the world has changed 
I think people more than ever need a new perspective to really understand that we all have a purpose and this is what uh, I really believed Paulo Coelho one of his main points of this book was to really make the reader think hmm, what am I actually here to do and your purpose doesn't necessarily have to be something like changing the world but I believe that your purpose needs to be something that is bigger than you one of the things we find honestly as he goes on this epic adventure is he falls in love with a young lady and he gives up on his dream for this lady and I don't know whether that's something that you can relate to in your life that many of us do we give up on our goals dreams and ambitions and we settle for what we actually think we should have but he's still encouraged to continue on his journey uh, to find the gold at the base of one of the pyramids so I want you to think about what price would you have to pay in order for you to achieve your goals and your dreams and your ambitions and what I will say about this book is that it inspired me massively I've written 19 books and many of those are best-selling books published all over the world but this really touched the hero in me now is there a hero in you when you read this book Santiago is definitely the hero on the hero's journey and the hero's journey was something that you'll see in every single film you see whether it's Rocky whether it's Alice in Wonderland whether it's Harry Potter Lord of the Rings you will see someone being called to an epic adventure that is why we watch films if we don't identify with the character most of us wouldn't watch the film and in the book many people identify with Santiago they can kind of see themselves in the person that he is and I believe that we are all actors in our own movies right now my goal from you watching this video is for you to look at your life and think how's my life going for me right now are there any areas of my life that I would like to improve do I have any goals dreams ambitions and am I prepared to pay the price I think many of us sacrifice our dreams, we put them on hold. Because if you are going to go on an epic adventure, you're going to face some adversity. And this is what the hero's journey is. There's a guy called Joseph Campbell, who's very well known in mythology and the whole story creation. His, he mentored George Lucas, and George Lucas was uh, the creator of Star Wars. And again, same, Star Wars, Harry Potter, it's all the same. Someone is called to an adventure, they don't want to go. I'm calling you to an adventure, the adventure of your life, to be able to follow your purpose. What is your purpose? Well, I would encourage you to think about your purpose being something bigger than yourself. What I mean by that is that you're doing something to help the world. Look, the only reason that the world is here today is because people have followed their purposes and gone out of their ways to actually go and help people and that's what this book was written for I don't know whether the author wrote it with this simple intention of making millions of pounds which I'm sure he actually has as I think there's over 20 million copies of this book sold he wrote this book to touch the hearts and the minds of people and I must tell you a very quick story so I've published 19 books published by the biggest publishers in the world I never forget having a meeting with one of the biggest publishing houses we sat down with them and I was sitting there with my coach I had a coach for about 16 years and at the end of the meeting um, I turned to my coach and I said is there anything that you want to say there was three of us and 16 of them and he said do you want me to speak I said yes please so he said who here has ever been in love everyone put up their hands he said who here received a love letter have you ever received a love letter I think love letters are definitely a thing of the past but I, I definitely have and some of the people said yes and he said did you read the love letter over and over and over and over again and the more you read it the more you felt what the person felt who wrote the letter to you and some of them were going yeah and then he said that is the book that we want to write we want to write a book that really makes people feel it was written for them 
And that is the experience that many people have had who have read this book. That was written for me. It was talking to them specifically. So I really encourage you to, to read it or listen to it because it will take you on an adventure and maybe it will wake you up a little bit for you to see your life in a different perspective. And as I said, it inspired me to write this book, Inspirators. And this is a book about the, the journey that we all go on in life to create the life that we want, to be inspired. And do you know what that word means, to be inspired? It means you're breathing life into something that is in front of you. So I don't know what you'll take away from this video, but maybe you'll go and read the book. Maybe you'll read my book. But what I would really encourage you to do is think about this. You are the writer, you're the director, you're the producer, and you are the actor in this thing called life. And you can actually choose your own supporting cast. This is the movie of your life. And maybe you'll take something away from this video that will make you think, I want to create a new movie of my life, maybe a sequel, something better than what I have now, why I go after my purpose, I will transform my life, I identify with the person I'm becoming, and I go after the gold. Going after the gold, really, for me, this is a, this is a metaphor for chasing something, going after something, wanting to bring something into the world. Whether you get there or not, it's the person that you become, the transformation that you go on, as you go on this epic quest, as you pursue it, you pay the price, you become the hero in your own journey and you follow your purpose, making this world a better place. So what has been your biggest takeaway from this video? Feel free to make some comments, share this post and we really appreciate all of you that are a part of what we're doing because we're here to do one thing, inspire you to go from where you are to where you want to be. Thanks for watching and we'll see you for another YouTube video.